Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to overclock your CPU through the BIOS. Now I'm using a Gigabyte motherboard so this might be slightly different for you as like the menus that you go through might be named something different but the actual things you're changing are going to be completely the same. So uh, let's take a look at the screen. So you want to boot up your computer and as it's booting up you want to, for a Gigabyte motherboard at least, click delete to go into the BIOS as soon as um, you see on the screen, so here it is, press delete and it will enter into your BIOS. Now for Gigabyte you want to go into MB Intelligent Tweaker, but at the bottom it says a quick description of it, so it says change CPU's clock and voltage, so if you have anything to do with CPU clock or CPU voltage this will be the right place to go to. So there aren't very many things that you need to change to get a good um, overclocking on your CPU. What you want to change is make sure that your um, CPU host clock control is set to enable and then you can start overclocking. Um, before you do start though, um, make sure that any performance enhancing things are set to standard or turned off completely if you can. This is just to increase stability and uh, I'd recommend doing that. So. Let's start off with changing the CPU host clock control, putting that to enable. Now to overclock your CPU, you've really just got to change the CPU host frequency. Just increase this a bit to overclock your CPU. So I'll just put it up and you can see how the CPU frequency is actually changing. And you can see how this works is the CPU host frequency is multiplied by the CPU clock ratio. And that gives you your uh, overclock at the um, at the end which um, right now it's 2.7 with 3 uh, 3 4 7 times 8 what I actually have is I have it set to 3.3 gigahertz so I can do this by changing it to 413 now if you're gonna do a uh, overclock um, which is quite high so if you're changing something from 2.0 gigahertz to maybe 2.5 or above you might want to change your CPU voltage control. This will give more power to the CPU which will enable it to keep this clock and run it stably. And this isn't an exact science so you may or may not need to change this but I would recommending, I would recommend increasing it just a bit. Um, so say if it's 1.2 change it to 1.25 I've found that with my overclock, 1.3 works well, um, and that is really all you need to do. You then save, press yes, and hit enter. So now all that's going to happen is your computer is going to boot back up with your loaded uh, custom CPU clocks. Um, if you do do something crazy, like change your CPU frequency from say 300 to 900, your BIOS will see that this is going to damage your CPU and it will fail to boot the first time that it tries to load up these settings. So what will happen is your computer will shut down, it will load itself back up and it will shut down again. This will reset the BIOS to its defaults and you'll have to go through overclocking it again but don't overclock it so high this time. Maybe reduce the voltage and reduce the frequency. If you find that you have a, a reasonable CPU clock but you're still not getting the stability that you want or the power that you want out of it, what you can try and do is increasing the voltage on the CPU because if your CPU doesn't have a high enough voltage on it and it's got a high clock then it won't be stable and it won't be able to perform as well as it can. So you just make sure, got to make sure that you give it enough fuel to run properly. If the computer I mean, won't boot up at all you're going to have to reset the CMOS. Now, um, I, might, might, I might make another video on this in the future if someone seen this and needs help with this, but what will happen is you're going to have to open up your computer and I can make a video about how to do this and what it will actually do. But it's just a, a good way to uh, reset everything to its defaults without even uh, having to turn on your computer if it's not working properly. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you next time.